you must have seen roman numerals on watches or clocks from the position on the dial you can guess what the roman numeral stands for but as you can see these numerals look very different from our regular numerals let us do a quick comparison we will write the regular numeral and the roman one side by side One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now let us understand the pattern. Let us look at the first three Roman numerals. When a symbol is repeated to the right, we add the value. This is a rule you have to remember. So, double I means one plus one is equal to two. Let us look at the first three Roman numerals. When a symbol is repeated to the right, we add the value. So, three times I means one plus one plus one is equal to three. Let us look at the next three Roman numerals. We can see. That the symbol of five is V. We can see that the symbol of six is V I. When the smaller symbol is written to the right of the bigger one, we add the value. So V I means five plus one is equal to six. Let us look. At the next three Roman numerals, we can see that the symbol of four is I V. The symbol of five is V, and that of one is I. When the smaller symbol is written to the left of the larger one, we subtract. So I V means five minus one is equal to four. Well. Why can't we write I V as four times I? Because you can't repeat a symbol one after the other more than three times. This is one more rule you have to remember. Let us go over the rules we have seen so far. When the smaller symbol is written to the right of the larger one. We add. When the smaller symbol is written to the left of the larger one, we subtract. We can't repeat a symbol one after the other more than three times. What are the symbols we have seen so far? I stands for one. V stands for five. X stands for ten. Did you understand the rules of forming Roman numbers? Yes, lovely.